Hello everyone, this is Judy coming to you from my scrapbook loft and welcome. Thank you so much for taking time to visit with me. I really do appreciate it, you guys. What I'm doing, this is part two of the mini tool chest of drawers. And uh, we've got the drawers made and we've got the sleeves made. And now we're going to reinforce the sturdiness of our drawers, okay? So we've got all, I've got all scraps here that I want to use. Um, of the paper, I use, I use scraps to reinforce you all. So yeah, so here we go. All right. And we know that it's one and a half. We just want to cut us out some pieces. I usually do this with chipboard, you all, but uh, I'm sure that all of you don't have chipboard, so um, we're doing it with cardstock. And we want to use 110 pound cardstock. If you don't have 110 pound, you can use 65 pound and just keep adding paper until it's as sturdy as you want it. Okay? Now we've got these. This, this happened to be one and a half inch, so I was able to use it. I've got my pull tab here. Mark where it goes. Put it in my tab punch. Back on here. In here, making sure the top edges on it, and they do. Now we're going to do the back, make sure it's going to line up, and it does. Now for the sides. And we want it just a little bit less than one and a half, or maybe I wanted it one and a half. Let me see. Yeah, one and a half. I mean, yeah, one and a half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You all don't want me to watch, don't want to watch me do all three of these drawers like this. You've you've got the gist of how I'm going to how I enforce it. And I also put one in the bottom. Until I get the sturdiness that I want, I just I will just keep adding this paper. Like I said, I normally would use chipboard, but uh, I don't want to uh, get something out that you all do not have in your um, stash. So, I will be back. Okay, now I'm back. I've got my drawers all 
reinforced. They're sturdy. I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm putting the last one in its sleeve. See how that slides. I used my tab and made my tab places. And then our next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to connect these, but yet they need to be sturdy. So we're going to be doing some more um, cutting and gluing. Okay, be back. Okay, you all, I am back. And I'm going to show you how we're going to reinforce between these drawers, okay? And all I do is I measure. And this is just like 5 and 1 16th, just like it's supposed to be. That way, and this should be 4 and 3 8 And it is, it's 4 and 3 8 Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to cut several pieces of cardstock. I usually put three to four extra pieces of cardstock in here. So let's, and I'm using uh, this 12 by 12, 110, and it's four and three eighths. By five and one eighth. Is that right? Nope, oh, five and one sixteenth. Uh -huh. There we go. And let's lay it on here and see what it looks like. It's a perfect fit. I think I wanted a hair dab wider though. See, it's left me, I want it to come out even on the edge. So I'm going to do five and one eighth and see what that does. We want them to come, yeah, that five and one eighth is what really come out to the edge there on that side and this side and then the four and three eighths is perfect. So I'm gonna cut a few pieces. Let's do four and three eighths here. And four and three eighths here. And five and one eighth. And five and one eighth. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. See how that has thickened right there? See how it's made that thicker right there? That'll make it sturdier and give it a space uh, like your dresser does, like a, a, well, you know, like a, like a wood shelf piece or trim piece through there. Okay, like I said, I normally would use chipboard, but you don't, you, all of you don't have chipboard, so I'm trying to show you how you do it without chipboard, okay? So that's what we're going to do, is that right there, okay? I'm going to glue this on, I'll be back. Now let me show you what I mean. See how I built that up to make that sturdy right there, okay? And it'll straighten out. See that? Now I'm going to take the next drawer and I'm going to put it on there just like that. Let's get some glue on this thing. Okay, 
and we'll turn it up this way. Okay? And bring them together. Just like that. Let's check the front, even, okay, sides, even, okay, now I'm going to take that drawer out and I'm going to burnish it. And there we have, this glue will dry clear, so I don't worry about that. And there we have our drawers stacked together. Okay, now I'm just going to do this top part here just like I did this one, okay? I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've got the I've got this layer here on now to make it thick and sturdy, and I'm getting ready to put this drawer on. That side right there. Okay? Hold on just a minute. Let's put some glue on it. I cut several pieces of cardstock to make that thickness. You make it as thick as you want it. It's going to be your book. You make it as heavy as you want to make it. I got to put it this way. I want to keep make sure the um, um, you know, I want to make sure the fronts are the most, are the ones that is even the best. Okay, there we go. There we go. Take the drawer out and burnish this on the inside here. Now to put this back in, and there you have your um, dividers between the drawers that looks like it's supposed to be there. I get glue all over everything, but this all gets covered up, except for this. And I'm glad that it, gl it dries clear. So happy the glue dries clear. And then if there's anything showing that I don't like, if it doesn't, I can always touch it up with some black ink. So now you all, what we do is we reinforce, we cover the sides, okay? We're gonna cover the sides.
and they are four and three quarters that way and should four and three eighths this way of course by four and three eighths so four and three quarters by four and three eighths I've got one piece cut here. It just needs to be cut down to four and three quarters. And we're gonna do the same thing on the sides that we did here. We're gonna put several layers to make this thicker and sturdier. Okay, so I will be back after I get that done on each side. Okay, I'm back and we're going to cover the back. And the back is the outside edge to outside edge is five and a quarter. And from this at bottom to the bo top to the bottom is four and three quarters. I've already cut it. On this one, on the back, you don't have to add layers to that because um, we're going to put some corner, we're going to cover, cover these corner edges so it won't matter and you've got this here, this sturdy cardstock here. So let's put this on. And I'm using tape for this. Then I've got to do the bottom. I wasn't using my scissors. That's why they were in the drawer. I'm using this thing. And as you can see, this is why we did the sides first so that we could know how to cover the back, the top and the bottom, same way. tape this way. Just because I want to, you don't have to. And then I want to make sure that my fingers, they have it lined up on that, on the sides there. And lay that down. So now the back is covered. Okay. And then we're going to cover we're 
going to do the bottom. But I'm going to come back with part three to do that. So I want to thank you all for watching. And thank you for the privilege of your time. Hugs to you from me. And God bless.